Hello everybody, welcome back to Bastion. We're gonna jump right into it. Uh, last episode we completed uh, the Warpman Ward as well as the Breaker's Bow Proving Ground. Um, I've changed the audio up a little bit uh, this time. I've boosted my mic just slightly, turned down the volume on the game just slightly because it was a little bit overwhelming. Uh, I might mess with it a little bit throughout the series. Uh, I apologize for any sudden changes. Uh, if you could get uh, a little bit of feedback to me, that would be wonderful. Uh, but without further ado, let's get started. I think that we should uh, do the melting pot today. I think that sounds like a pretty good starting point. In better days, the melting pot was sealed tighter than the skin on the squirt. And right on our face. Of all the plans to survive the calamity, it had to be stab weeds. Uh, very well named plants. <laughs> Look at these things. These are. I am so glad that these don't exist. I mean, we have like rose bushes and cacti, but these are something else. Alright. So basically throughout the entire area we're going to have to fight these things. They don't fight back unless you touch them, as you can tell there. They're a huge nuisance. Got something nasty. Oh, hello. I thought you were going to be much smaller while you are coming out of the ground. You turned out to be a much bigger threat than I thought you were. So, let's just knock around here for a little bit. Oh, look at that. We found a little stash back there. That's why you knock around a little bit, is because you can find those stashes of, uh, fragments. He cuts down every stab weed like there's gonna be a prize for it. How do you know there's not gonna be a prize for it, Rux? If there's a core, he figures it ought to be deeper down. Core stuck inside one of those fancy cages. So let's definitely get rid of all of the stab weeds in the middle of this area. Because I'm sure you can tell by the shape of the area what's going to be coming next. So, we make our way around here. Deal with the stab weeds. It must be a strong machete to take down some boulders. Alright, so this is a special ability. It's a trip mine. We don't need some to of the stuff work. lying around. is downright dangerous. Down around dangerous. Alright. Well, let's flip the switch. He throws a switch. Now what could possibly go wrong? Oh, why'd you have to say that? Quite a bit, as it turns out. The cage starts lifting from the core ever so slow. All Kid can do is wait. Well, I ain't waiting. Shipments start falling in. So we put a bleed effect on both of these enemies, as you can tell here. We upgraded that last episode. Not every squirt's born bad. Some spring to the kid's defense. The one, all of the enemies that are, uh, well, all of the mobs that have the hearts above the them. It's gonna take a little while. All, all of the ones with the hearts above them are allies. Don't take kindly to interlopers. I am not an interloper, I am a human being. Even Apparently, some gas fellas take his corner. Oh, here we go, we got one big guy. Two big guys. At this rate, maybe five more minutes, maybe thirty. Hard to tell. I don't like either of those numbers. Oh, ow. Let's drink health potion. Or health tonic. I'm sorry, I keep saying that. These squirts get real territorial around the core. Potions. Oh, let's not die Their here. shipment of free samples shows up. It ain't spices. all bad. There's a kid finds some spices for the motherland. Tax free. 
Tax free is my favorite kind. One thing's for sure. That cage is awful heavy. You know what we haven't done yet? Let's drop a trip mine. Oh, that worked very well. Probably why they gave it to us here. It's a troublesome scene to be sure. <laughs> Some of the stuff that Ruck says is kind of goofy. A few moments left, and the core goes free. Ten, nine, eight, seven. You give or take a few seconds. God dang it, Rux. Finally, the core's within reach. And done. It was within reach, but it wasn't done yet. I'm gonna take that. He's got it. Just gotta get to the nearest barge. I found the nearest barge. It was pretty damn near. Barge get. I still remember the look on his face after that one. Well, you haven't seen my face because it's still planted into the ground on these steps. See, that's like the worst place to land. Is on a set of steps. Like, it's basically you're curb stomping your own face when you land. Sounds incredibly uncomfortable. Let's get up. So let's go talk to Rux. Folks always cross the boundless sea to found Ceylandia. It was good living here for a while. Just a little while. All right, let's open this up. The old world's finished, but the new world's just getting started. Good stuff. So, do we only have one more choice on buildings? We do. Arsenal. We have an arsenal. Ta-da! So, something nasty. Oh, it's an upgrade for the fang repeater. Uh, we don't usually use this. I mean, we do use it during one of the, uh, during one of the proving grounds. We'll upgrade it when we come to it. I think that's the best idea. Arrows cause damage over time, plus 50% damage. I think that that's Hit a little bit better. a special surprise in every one of those arrows. Every one of them. Alright. Uh. The Bastion's a place of peace, but we can hold our own if we have to. Just like Israel. Um. That was a little bit topical not ointment topical like a bow and a machete every bit as effective as the fancier stuff like, like current topic topical oh look we got another proving ground we are not going to finish this anytime soon without upgrades but we might as well take a look at it you if you plan on playing this game ranch was built for gathering squirt extract and copious supply you are going to hate this proving Ain't nothing ground. more healthful. Right on your face into the splintery wood. Here we go. Ah. Some oh, folks so showed many up of these. fast buck with nothing but a knife. Other folks came to train their throwing arms. Still others used the place to test their finest blades. Alright, now let's get rid of this. Luckily, most of them come to us. They're the blue kind. Oh, come on. Why do you have to be here? Give it damage over time. Goodbye. It should take care of itself now. Well, maybe not. One more hit will do it. As you can see, the objective here is to get rid of as many enemies as possible. Oh, we don't even have the shield! Wonderful! So we got all those. All that's left is these guys. Which is probably the, the biggest pain in the ass that this game ever throws at you, because you can never hit them! 
kid makes short oh. work of them things. Second price. Nah, I'm gonna take it. Something sharp, but something pointy. Two very different things. I want that. Right. Into the skyway. Kid comes back from Windbag Ranch, smelling good and right. Well, that's wonderful because we don't have a bathtub on the bastion. All right. <laughs> if you liked this video, uh, leave a like or a comment. If you liked the content of this video, uh, feel free to subscribe. I'll be posting stuff like this in the future. We're going to finish it here for today. Uh, all of you have a wonderful day.